Hi, my name's Charlie King. I'm with Heroic Fatherhood, and welcome to The Mentor's Moment. Here we answer questions by real fathers who are seeking insight, advice, or a new perspective on something they're facing in their lives. In today's question, a dad asks, why don't parents preach entrepreneurship to their children? <laughs> you sound like an entrepreneur at heart. I totally get this. And I also know that entrepreneurship isn't for anyone, but it sounds like it's something that's a real passion for you. Entrepreneurship is a path that not so many people take, but it looks like the workforce is moving in more of that direction where you're seeing more contract workers and a real fall in corporate jobs where they're outsourcing most of their work to people who are task specific in the work they can do. So often people don't talk about entrepreneurship because they don't have an experience of it. If you're somebody who's been working for others forever, the idea of entrepreneurship can be super daunting. It can actually be kind of scary, either because there's nobody to tell you what to do, or there's no structure of support, or there's no guarantee of income, or the idea of a sales call. There's actually something that's comforting about being able to go to work and just be told what to do. Now, if you're in a job where you're told what to do all the time, that may not feel the case to you. I can tell you from an entrepreneur's perspective that some days I wish I could just show up and someone would just tell me what to do and I'd just do the thing and then we could move on. The idea of entrepreneurship is really scary for a lot of people because most people know it's not easy money for regardless of what anybody says. There's always work involved. There's always a steep learning curve and a learning process that never goes away. And you're going to try things that absolutely fail. Entrepreneurship is something that becomes a lifestyle for people because very often the first thing they try doesn't work out and they have to fold it and start again. It is not uncommon for entrepreneurs to go through three, four, five, six businesses trying to find the niche where it really fits what their skill set is and what the need is in the market. So if you don't have experience with entrepreneurship, it can seem super scary on the backside of it. So it's kind of predictable that somebody may not be preaching entrepreneurship. It also occurs to me that there are a lot of parents out there that don't know where their kids' strengths are going to lie, that they're not going to lie in the same place that theirs did. Like maybe they'll be an entrepreneur or maybe they'll go work for a company or maybe they won't. And that it's often not up to them to decide what their kids are going to do. And so a lot of parents are sort of more hands off about what they think their kids are going to do for a living. Now, I think there's real power in being able to encourage your kids to explore different forms of employment, either working for someone else or working for yourself, because then you'll have a better idea when you go out to start choosing a higher education, when you're out choosing uh, what's next for you in this life, whether, wow, you know what, I think that's really great, but I don't know that I want to work for a big company, or I don't know that I want to work for myself. There are lots of different options, and we get to make up all of it. Whether you work part-time for a company and then entrepreneur on the side, whether you work full-time for a company, whether you are an entrepreneur at heart and do that all, or if you have two small businesses that provide you income from two different sides, whether you make money uh, on, as an affiliate of other entrepreneurs, whether you do joint ventures, whether you do things in person, in events, or online, the options are endless these days. I'm a big fan of preaching entrepreneurship, but I also know that that's not necessarily what's right for my kids, and that's going to be something they're going to have to figure out for themselves. And lastly, I think that there's this perception that entrepreneurship is risky, and it is. Let's be clear. Entrepreneurship is very risky, but it's totally worth it. It's totally worth it from the sense of freedom you get, from your ability to carve your own path. That is an extraordinary freedom, and I wouldn't give it up for anything. I actually tell the joke that I'm completely unemployable at this point. I've been an entrepreneur so long, I wouldn't even know what it looked like to work for somebody else. Thanks for the great questions, and let's keep them coming. So now I have a question for you. How would you have addressed this dad's issue? Do you have a question you'd like to ask? If you like this video, consider checking out the other questions dads have asked. And lastly, please remember, we become better men by spending time with good men. My name's Charlie King. I'm with Heroic Fatherhood, and this has been The Mentor's Moment.